guys. I just wanted to do a quick video uh, to help out the guys out there who are working on equipment, whether it be, you know, a heavy equipment or anything that's got a diesel engine and a diesel particulation filter. This is for the beginners, so those guys out there don't bust my balls. So just check this out. All right, we've got a Kubota 3.8 liter. Also on the cat side, it'd be a C 3.8 found in you know industrial equipment as well as your Mini X's and skid steers having a regen issue. We'll go ahead and go over it real quick. All right, if you guys are ever in question, if in turn you have a DPF filter that is potentially packed and will not go through a burn properly and will not get the soot load down properly, here's some things to check. So you have your after treatment DPF differential pressure. You see it's about three PSI right there. And again, this is going through a regen. That is way too high. That means the airflow is limited, restricted. As you can look, your DPF intake gas temperature is at about 750. That is way too low to burn down soot load. It'll burn, but it'll never burn it all the way out. Everything else is within spec, but that's one thing to note. All right, so you see it completed the burn, but yet, as you can tell, soot load percent 52%. And again, DPF differential pressure is still pretty high. Again, this is at idle, a 1.41, that is fairly high. That means there's a heavy restriction there. Um, so right there, that's your telltale sign that there is an issue. Um, more than likely, you're having restricted airflow, which is not getting your temperature up, which is not getting you to burn the soot properly. All right, so you guys seen in the video there that actually soot load actually increased. So basically the calculated um, amount of soot actually went up roughly about 8% from when we first shot the video, which is about 10, 15 minutes before it completed a regen. So the ECM does not know exactly what the calculated soot load is. It's kind of a uh, assumption based off of what the DPF pressure differential is. So being the pressure differential, when it finished its timed out uh, regen, it was still fairly high, which would assume that there is an issue within calculated soot load. So to finish it out there, just something to look into. If your temperatures aren't getting up to where you would ideally like to see and your pressure differential between the inlet and the outlet is still very high, um, it's a good chance that you have an airflow restriction, which is not getting the burn up hot enough. And ideally, it's just not going to burn soot properly. So at that point, you might want to go ahead and break down the DPF and see if you don't have something face plugged or if it's just an issue where it's just too much ash, not enough, not enough airflow, and it's just not burning properly. You guys stay cool out there. I'm going to keep sweating my ass off. Have a great day.